Hi and welcome. So here's another project for the aerospace guys I do stuff for. And interestingly enough, this one's still in the bidding process. Uh, they haven't approved the project yet. But to be honest, I find this part interesting enough that I don't care if they're willing to pay for it or not. I want to see if I can actually do it. Um, it's got some, several challenging features. Um, it's got these holes that have to be bored to a specific depth at a very tight width tolerance. And they're small, which I've never done small board holds before. I mean, relatively small. I mean, there's a lot smaller than this, but 0.438 to 0.442 uh, diameter for the large part and 0 0.350 for the small part. And that's plus or minus five thousandths diameter. I'm kind of interested in doing that. And then you have to drill four holes in the end. And uh, that's also interesting. Uh, because you're going through about 80 thousandths of material with a drill bit that's really, really tiny. So uh, again, I to drill the hole initially, I have some 0.8 millimeter drill bits here. These are uh, uh, PCB drills. So they're a, a, a high speed steel or steel shank with a carbide inserted drill bit on the end. And the drill bit's relatively short, which makes it a little sturdier, which is very handy. And uh, then I have the actual drill bit size, these 0 0.032 inch uh, number 67 drill bits. These are about a half thousandth larger uh, hole diameter than those. And uh, I'd still be within spec if I didn't do the diameter they're asking for, but we're going to try it anyways. Um, so let's just proceed. I'm going to start by taking this stock that I've got that I had left over from another project that had been sort of machine square. I got to take this width down to three quarters of an inch. I mean, gives you kind of an idea this is 0.9 something so the part's going to be like like this big but but half inch thick which is going to be kind of interesting I, i've never done anything quite like this so uh, i i decided to do it regardless whether they pay me or not just to see if i can and improve my skills so let's uh, give it a shot all right here we are with this fairly tiny part it's two-thirds as uh, thick as it is wide uh it's plus or minus 50 thousandths on the size so right now it's 0.747 um, I was trying a new thing on the surface grinder just to see how square I could get it. I didn't do that great a job. I need to experiment some more with that. So I'll have to play around see what I can do. Um, I tried by grinding one side, then rotating 90, then grinding the other side to the exact same setting on the height and making sure everything was very clean. I think what happened is the fact that since I milled this initially, I needed to skim every side and get them all cleaned up before I pulled a move like that. And then that doesn't guarantee that they're perpendicular. It just makes them parallel and parallel. Could have been, you know, a parallelogram. Um, and in order to fix the other, I would have had to put it in a grinding vise or, you know, if I had a squaring block, which I don't have. Hope, ultimately, I like one of Steve Barton's, but uh, those are quite expensive. I'm, I'm on the waiting list, so hopefully by the time I get to the top of the list, uh, he'll be able to make one for me. Uh, but in the meantime, we got to drill and bore some holes. So what I'm going to try and do is pre-drill to a depth somewhat shallow of the final depth and then I am going to use an end mill to get a bottom cut and go within a couple thousandths of the final bottom depth and uh, we'll see if this works. I, I'm not sure, the reason I took this project, I'm not quite sure how to pull all this off. Uh, he also wants the, it's a larger diameter to a smaller diameter and he wants it square, maybe undercut, so I might have to do some custom cutter to pull that one off. Never done boring small diameters, so this is interesting. Just popping a center drill in here. So I have a place to start. Setting the depth based on the point of my drill bit, setting that to zero. This is 21 thousandths thick shim stop. I purposely chose thick limb shim stop so it wouldn't deform too much. And then I compensated down 21 thousandths on my DRO, on my quill DRO. And uh, we're gonna try and drill this to like 415 thousandths depth. That'll leave us five thousandths left over. Still too fast, looks like. Okay. All right, so the hole's drilled. Now we're gonna use an end mill that is just slightly larger than this to clean out and make a flat bottom because that's a conical bottom. So now to get a flat bottom hole, we're gonna take this one within a couple thousandths of the bottom. Uh, maybe 5,000. We'll leave it 415 is fine. This is a 5 16 end mill, so it's pretty close to the final size. Yep, 
even if this runs out a bit, I'll be okay because I'm undersized. That looks like it was cutting completely across, so one of my measurements wasn't exactly right. I'm gonna use a depth mic to get a ac more accurate measurement. So I'm measuring towards the outside now because the center still has the conical drill bit point. The problem using a depth mic that I find is very difficult is you push down really hard on the, on the edges, but there's so much mechanical advantage from the screw that it's pretty easy to lift yourself up. Yeah, that's 0.4 even. So what I was cutting was the part that wasn't cut the conical portion of the drill bit. So we're gonna come back and uh, we're gonna go to final depth. But I gotta slow this down a bunch because that was too fast. We were getting chatter. Okay, that should have been 420. I'm going to double check with the depth mic and see how I did. Before I use the, uh, the depth mic, I stone the top to make sure there's no burr at the edge or a burr elsewhere that's going to offset my depth measurement since we're trying to get close here. Looks like it's 411 and change. Looks like we need to go down a few more thousands. So now what I did was I drilled a little bit deeper and then set my DRO to zero based on that new depth. Boring small holes is kind of a trick. This is a Kenna Metal small hole boring head that I got from a machinist that retired and was moving to Arizona. Uh, it's, it's a really nice boring head. It takes these tiny, tiny little boring bars, and uh, each each division on here is a tenth. Actually, it might be the vernier is a tenth, and these are thousands. So we're just gonna we're gonna start by taking a little bit of a bite here, and we're gonna try and go down uh, to the full depth, uh, 250 thousandths, and see how that works out. This is actually a pretty big bite. Okay. That was first pass. Now I need to get a reference diameter. I did put a little bit of a lip there. I know you can't see much. So let's see if we can get you closer. It's 45. Well, this was a bit challenging. I think this is a high-speed steel boring bar on here. And I got a lot of deflections, so taking off small quantities like half a thousandth was really difficult. This is a 0.439, and I wanted 0 0.440. The size needs to be 0.38 to 0.442, and uh, this one has just the tiniest bit of play, so it's a couple tenths over 0.449, I think, if I'm reading this right. So I think we're good there. 
and uh, I guess the next step is we're going to try and drill this. This is a really challenging part. I've never tried to bore small holes before. These small boring bars deflect all too easily. Uh, I think I need to get some carbide ones if I want to try this, and even then they probably still deflect pretty easily. But uh, yeah, I had to take off the burr around the edge before I could get this uh, correctly measured. But it seems like it's okay. I have a tri mic, uh, a three point micrometer that fit, and it, it agreed that it was 0.439 and uh, a couple tenths. So uh, at the gauge blah, the gauge pin is measuring. I mean, if you got exactly the right diameter, the gauge pin wouldn't be able to go in, right? So that's good. We finished boring out the part on the other side, so now we're back to the sensitive drill chuck, which I have fixed. I didn't realize that the, uh, I'd never used one of these before, and I didn't realize the inside was the part that was supposed to slide down. And instead I was sliding in the collet body, uh, which was not good for anything. We have to drill some very small holes again. Uh, 32 thousandths uh, hole, which is number 60, 67, number 67. So I found the metric drill bit that is just under that size. It's a little bit under that size. And uh, we're going to start with that because I couldn't find standard uh, PCB style drill bits. So these are a, a, a steel shank with a metric ground drill inserted in the end. And they're fairly short. So that gives me the advantage of stiffness. And I'm hoping that'll let me drill this part without uh, totally uh, getting hosed on it. So. We will start down here, and we're going to need some uh, RPMs here. We'll try around 3,000 RPM, and I'm going to even try a little lube, which I don't typically use with these. I don't know if I'm in your way. I'm trying to let you see at the same time I'm drilling. And we're through, and we didn't break it. Miracle of miracles. So that is about half a thousandth undersize. And the vendor's pretty specific about what they want size wise. They also said they want the holes deburred. I'm not quite sure how to deburr a hole this small, so I gotta try and figure that one out. Um, but I'm gonna have to switch between drill bits over and over. Cause I'm gonna follow up with an on-size drill bit. I like how these guys come in packs of 25 because break them is breaking them is pretty decent odds. Number 67. So I don't know if I should uh, stay on top of this with each one. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. So I think I'm going to try and drill all these at once. And then come back and drill the others. So... The metric size of these drill bits is 0.8 millimeters. If you're curious. But I noticed last time I did one of these small holes was that I could see drill bit reflect deflection when I was on camera that I couldn't see when I was doing it in person. So I haven't noticed any, but it may actually be there. Now we'll switch to the other drill bit. Um. 
and we're done. So I ended up ordering some boring bars that next time will allow me to do a better job. But uh, here is the part. I believe this holds some wires centered in some tubing, in some exotic metal tubing. So we'll clean this up and I'll look under the microscope for some burrs and uh, that's pretty much it. This was an interesting project. Thanks for watching. Hope you find it useful. Hope to see you next time.